Hi, my name's Connor. I'm a summer student with the Fish, Wildlife and Lands Branch, part of the Ministry of the Environment. I'm here today with the Saskatchewan Wildlife Federation to walk you through the process of setting up Aquatic Invasive Species Monitoring, part of our AIM program. Monitoring stations are set up across the province by government and non-government agencies to record the absence or presence of aquatic invasive mussels. The first step is to build the substrate sampler. To build the substrate sampler, you need a measuring tape, a pen, a saw, a drill, sandpaper, an eye hook, PVC tubing, and a brick or cement. To construct the sampler, cut the 5 cm PVC pipe into 15 cm pieces. Next, rough up the outside of the PVC pipe with sandpaper. Drill a hole through the pipe in approximately the center to allow the eye bolt to pass through. Then attach the eye bolt. We are using a brick, but if you were to use cement, follow the directions on the label and then fill half the PVC pipe with cement to help weigh down the sampler. Now that we've constructed the sampler, we are going to select a location. Choose a shady location as deep as possible, preferably at least six feet, but can be less. Avoid areas where there's a large amount of current. Try and pick an area that has high watercraft movement. Docks near boat launches are ideal locations to put the sampler. Always ask permission to attach any sampler to a structure such as a dock. Ensure that the sampler will not interfere with boater or swimmer activities. And don't forget to record the location of the sampler. Make sure that the rope is tied to the brick and the eye hook, and the other end is tied to the dock. To monitor, samplers should be checked at least once a month during the time when water temperatures are favorable for mussels to spawn. Samplers should be in place before the water temperature reaches 12 degrees Celsius. Slowly remove the sampler from the water, do not clean it off. Closely inspect all surfaces, with special attention to the corners and holes, as well as anchor lines and ropes. Juvenile mussels are very small and will likely feel like sandpaper when you run your hand across the surface. If attached mussels are found or suspected, remove the substrate sampler from the water and place it in a sealed bag or container. Then call the tip line immediately. If nothing is found on the sampler, replace damaged or worn parts. Do not clean the substrate sampler. Place it back into the water carefully. After you return from the field, completely fill out the reporting form each time the sampler is checked. Enter your location coordinates and findings. The form will allow you to select what type of survey you are doing, such as substrate samplers, shoreline surveys, or human-built equipment inspections. Once you complete the form, the data will be uploaded. Thanks for your help in the fight against aquatic invasive species. 